here i have got some months and number of downloads for an app and i want to calculate the running total here once in a while we come across an idea that completely changes the way we solve problems for me it is the scan function in excel we can solve some pretty difficult problems easily using this function here let me demonstrate with a simple example and two advanced examples of the scan function let's go normally if you don't use scan the easiest way to do this is you select this range click on this little thingamabob and go to totals scroll all the way here and then find the running total click on it and boom you'll get the running total now the problem with this is it kind of hard codes the formula there so it assumes that there is ever going to be only 12 values and that will create a problem for you if you ever want to add more or your data changes so i'm going to show you how easy it is like ridiculously easy it is to get the running total with the scan function so we simply say scan start with zero because the running total begins with zero and for the array portion select the range of values that you want to add up in this case it is d5 to d16 and then for the function just write sum close bracket hit enter and you'll get the totals how easy this is now this might seem almost like a magic what is going on behind the scenes so let me explain what scan is really doing on a paper let's imagine we have five numbers 10 15 20 25 10 in five cells now when i write the function scan scan 0 a1 a5 sum what it's going to do is it's going to start the values with the zero then it will read all the items of a1 to a5 one at a time so first it will start with a1 as the initial value is zero it's going to add zero and ten and the value here will be zero plus ten ten for the subsequent value it's going to pick up 15 and use 10 instead so it no longer refers to the 0 it refers to the 10 so the second calculation will become 10 plus 15 is equal to 25 so this is what the scan function is going to return the syntax for scan has two kind of options one is you can write it like this and a more advanced option for scan is scan and then initial value i'm going to call this as iv a range or array so we can call this as array and then the third option is going to take a lambda function this lambda function itself will accept two parameters it's called a and b you can really call them anything and then an operation that happens on a and b now normally this kind of thing is a little bit too advanced so i will explain how we can apply this in the video through my excel illustration but that's what scan does it kind of scans through a list and it does an operation in this case the operation happens to be sum and applies the calculation and gives you the results of each of those intermediate steps so as it is summing along the way it will tell you what the results it is seeing up until the end of the array let's say you don't want the running total you want max instead and you don't want just one maximum for the entire list in this case if i look at the entire list and find the maximum that's going to be 6249 that's not what i wanted i want to see the maximum as i go along the time so here the scan function becomes like this scan we start again with zero because initially there is no maximum value and for the array give this array as the input and the function now becomes max what this will do is it will scan the list and it will give you the maximum as it goes along the list again initially for the month of jan that is the highest value so far for the month of feb through june the highest has been 5950 and then comes july with 6150 so that will become the king eventually in october we reached our peak of 6249 downloads like i said scan also offers an advanced calculation through lambdas so let me show you how to do the same max calculation with lambdas first 
so we say scan zero and then select this range as the array and for function i'm going to write a lambda and this lambda for scan always takes two parameters a and b you can really call them anything but i'm going to call them a and b and then the operation that we want to do is return the maximum of a or b so max of a comma b and then close all the brackets let me explain what is happening behind the scenes now scan will start with zero and then it will read each element of the range that you have given d5 through d16 and then it will apply the lambda function lambda a comma b a will be initially set to zero because that's the initial value that we gave and b will be the current value of the range d5 to d16 so initially it will be january's value 2831 and then the max of a comma b will be max of 0 comma 2831 so it will be 2831 for the next value here the scan calculation would be same like here but no it, the initial value will be no longer 0 it will be set to the previous calculation of scan which is 2831 so now the max calculation would be what is the maximum of 2831 comma 5950 and then that will come up as 5950 the calculation continues on until we see this now i do want to show you the tremendous advantage of using scan when you are writing formulas so i have prepared a more realistic example of where scan will help me when i'm building excel workbooks let's say i have got some data of site visits for the entire year of 2023 here i have got the date column here and site visits column here and this data goes on for 365 rows now given this information I want to calculate running total, but I don't want to do it for the entire data. I want to first filter a month and then see the running total here. So for the filter part, it is really simple. We can use the filter function, filter visits table. That's the name of this table, by the way. And then what we want to include is all the visits that corresponds to month number one. So I'm going to pass the month function, month visits of the date column is equal to one this filter function is going to give me all the visits that happened in the month of january as this is a dynamic thing if i change this one to for example two i'm going to get all the visits that happened in february now as you can see the number of rows in each month will be different january has 31 days february 2023 has 28 days so my running total also need to be smart enough and calculate only up to 28 days or 31 days or 30 days and this is where scan formula really shines we say scan zero now for the array part we need to pick this column g but remember g itself doesn't have anything the all the values stem from the values in the f51 cell here and spill out so we're going to use the choose column function choose column the spill range that began on f51 second column so that's going to pick the second column of that spill range and then tell you what the sum is and you will get a running total of all the visits that happened in february so February we had 21,717 visits but this is all dynamic so if I change this to 7 I'm going to see the values for July and as July has more dates my scan also automatically expands down. So this is a really practical and robust application of scan that you can use to dynamically scale up or down calculations depending on what else is going on in your workbook. Scan works really well with the lambda functions as well as the filter function in Excel. Here is a video about the lambda function and here is a video about the filter function. I'll catch you in one of these two places. Bye.